please be sure to subscribe to the channel to update the fastest and most accurate news. Hello everyone, welcome back to my Royal Life News channel, the story for today is the Queen will mark her Platinum Jubilee in June, and we're sure that there will be a myriad of ways that people will mark the landmark moment across the nation. One of the ways that the Jubilee is being commemorated is with the Platinum Jubilee cookbook which highlights the wide range of delicacies from across the world that the royals have dined on during their tours. And to give it that extra royal flair, Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall have written a joint foreword for the book. In the foreword, the royal couple briefly mention Her Majesty, as they write, 70 years ago, when the Queen came to the throne, the culinary outlook in the United Kingdom was bleak, several foods were still rationed and the meager choice of ingredients on offer posed a challenge to even the most creative cook. Meals from other parts of the world were almost unheard of. The only option for a takeaway was the ever-faithful fish and chips, and olive oil was sold in small bottles by chemists, for medical rather than culinary use. Today, our tastes have been transformed. More than ever before we welcome one another's culinary heritage into our homes, and, for this, we are deeply grateful. They added, what has not changed is the profound, almost spiritual, significance of breaking bread with others, be they family, friends or strangers. A shared meal has always been a path to building relationships and resolving differences. While we all know this instinctively to be true in our daily lives, this book reveals that food is equally essential to our country's diplomatic relations. The pair have sampled dishes from across the world, some of the recipes in this wonderful collection from our network of diplomatic posts are authentically local, some are proudly British, and others represent the coming together of British and local influences, often to spectacular effect. What shines through is a sense of the excitement and pleasure that our diplomats have experienced from discovering a local cuisine and, through it, a new country and people. It is, we think, also a fitting tribute to those residents chefs and managers who are often unsung heroes and heroines, as important as ambassadors for our country as are our diplomats. They also gave a small insight into a royal tour, as they explained, on all royal visits, food plays an important part, presenting opportunities to enjoy a taste of the host nation's culinary heritage, while also offering a chance to share the best of British cuisine. We recognize some of the dishes here, from the British-Malaysian fusion rendang beef wellington we enjoyed in Kuala Lumpur, through to the utterly delicious, whiskey bread and butter pudding we enjoyed in Washington. They finished by saying, as we come together as a nation, in the realms, and across the Commonwealth, to celebrate Her Majesty's Platinum Jubilee, food will no doubt play a central part in our public and private celebrations. We only hope that this book provides you with both pleasure and inspiration, and that food continues to bring you together with family, friends, neighbors and your community. That is all for today news, please make sure to leave your comment and subscribe the channel below for more news update. Thank you for watching.